how to add your own music to iMovie. I'm first of all going to show you how to do this on a Mac, then I'm going to show you how to do this on an iPhone, and lastly I will also show you how to do this on iPad. Now to add your own music on iMovie on a Mac, here's how you do it. First of all click on this down arrow symbol in the upper left corner of the screen. You can then simply locate the music on your computer, and once you have found it make sure it is highlighted and then click on import selected. Your music track will then be visible here in the My Media section. From there, left click and drag it onto the timeline. And just like that you added your own music to iMovie. Instead of having to click on this down arrow here on top to import music to iMovie on a Mac, there's actually even a simpler way. In fact, you can simply drag and drop a music file directly from your computer into this My Media area. If you have some music on the desktop of your Mac, you can actually also directly import it from there using this very method. And last but not least, instead of dropping it here into the My Media section, you can also just take a music file and directly drop it here onto the timeline. Now let's have a look at how to add your own music to iMovie on an iPhone. Before we do this though, let me show you how you can transfer your own music from your Mac to your iPhone. This is indeed very useful if you just have the music on your Mac but not yet on your iPhone. For this purpose we are going to use the built in Apple software called AirDrop. This method actually also works if you would like to transfer your own music from your Mac to your iPad. Here's how you use AirDrop to transfer audio from your Mac to your iPhone. First of all navigate to the upper right corner of the screen and then click on the magnifying glass and search for AirDrop. Then open up the AirDrop application. Then open up a new finder window by clicking on file in the upper left corner of the screen and then click on new finder window. Then locate your own music that you would like to transfer to your iPhone. And then simply click and drag that onto AirDrop. If you don't see your iPhone appearing here then make sure to put this setting to allow me to be discovered by everyone. And also make sure that you're logged into your iPhone because if you have the lock screen there it probably won't work. So make sure that your iPhone is not on standby and once you do that you should actually see your iPhone appearing here on AirDrop. So once you see your iPhone here you can simply drag and drop the file and it will be immediately transferred to your iPhone. Once you did that you will see this message here appearing on your iPhone and when that is the case you can either directly import your music file into iMovie by pressing here on iMovie or you can also put it into the files folder and you can then later on import it into iMovie. In our case we will simply put it into files because this has the advantage that your music file will then always be accessible on your iPhone even if you don't import it into iMovie. Once you have chosen files on your iPhone, you will get to this screen here. And then to save your own music for good under files, don't forget to tap on save in the upper right corner of the screen of your iPhone. And your own music is now safely stored on your iPhone. Now to continue, I'm going to show you my iPhone screen and we will take it from there step by step. Now on iPhone to import your own music to iMovie, first of all open up the iMovie app, then open up your video project, tap on edit, then tap on the plus symbol on the left side, then tap on files, and from there simply select your own custom music that you would like to import to iMovie. This will then automatically insert your music directly into your iMovie project. Now if you would like to add music that you purchased before on iTunes you can obviously also do that. Instead of tapping on files this time tap on audio, then select my music and you can then import your iTunes music directly from here. For example I purchased a song from a German rapper called Samra, so to import that I would tap here on songs. I would then select the track by simply tapping on it. And to add it to iMovie now, I would simply tap here on this plus icon. And just like that, my iTunes song has been imported to iMovie. Now one more thing, if you see this cloud icon next to your purchases, then you first need to re-download that track to make it available for offline use, which will then enable you to import it into iMovie. For example, for this Baby It's You track here, I would tap on the cloud icon on the left side of it, then tap on music, then search for the song name, because for some reason it doesn't take you to the correct place automatically. So I would simply type in the song name, Baby It's You. So I found that song now, now I'll tap on the three horizontal dots icon on the right side and tap on download. Once it is downloaded you will see this down arrow symbol next to the track. Now we will go back to iMovie, tap on my music in the upper left corner of the screen because we need to refresh the page, then tap on songs again. And as you can see now the Baby It's You track is now not greyed out anymore and to import it into iMovie now I would simply need to tap on it and then press on the plus symbol and just like that I inserted this track into our iMovie project. And this is how you add your own music to iMovie on the iPhone. Now let us also have a look at how to import your own music to iMovie on the iPad. First of all let us open up the iMovie application. Then if you already have an existing video project, you can simply tap on that one in the projects area. If you don't, then tap on movie in the lower right corner of the screen. 
Then choose your video footage or this could also simply be some photos for example. In my case I'm just going to choose some graphics that I created with Midjourney earlier on and we will use these as part of our video project. So I simply select them by tapping on them. And once you're happy with the selection tap on create movie. Now to add your own music to iMovie on the iPad, tap on the plus symbol in the upper right corner of the screen. And then tap on files if you have your own music in the files folder on your iPad. Or if you would like to add an audio track that you earlier on purchased on iTunes, then you can also do that by tapping on audio in the lower right corner of the screen. In this case to find your iTunes music you would then tap on my music. And you can then find your iTunes albums and songs from there. So for example I would tap on songs here. And I will get a list of all my songs here. And to add these to your iMovie project, you can tap on the song and then tap on the plus symbol to add it. If a lot of songs here in your list are greyed out here, this actually means that you did purchase these songs but that these songs are not yet available on your device. So to solve that problem, you will need to download these tracks onto your device and they will then become available and will not be greyed out anymore. To do that, tap on the song that you would like to add. We will try that with the song called The Clash and then tap on music. Now on top again we need to search for that song because it doesn't take you to the correct place automatically. So we will search for the clash here. There we go and now on the right side we tap on this three horizontal dot icon and tap on download. Then wait for some time and once you see that down arrow symbol you will know that your track has downloaded. We will now go back to iMovie. We still gotta refresh this page here. So what we will do is we will tap on my music in the upper right corner of the screen. And then we tap on songs again. And when we scroll down here. We will see that the song The Clash now is now indeed available as it is not greyed out anymore. So to use it in our iMovie project we would simply tap on it. And then tap on the plus symbol. And just like that we import this audio file to our iMovie project. And this is how you add your own music and even purchase music to iMovie on the iPad. If you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more iMovie tutorials.